Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, I got a, a sensational uh, show today. I want to touch on a hot topic issue. Who is the best heavyweight in the world? Um, I'm going to put it down below. Um, but before we do that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog. Quick Hits comes at you every day in 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's near and dear to our heart. Please subscribe to that channel as well. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, um, all right, let, let's let's get into it. Alexander Usyk is the best heavyweight in the world. It is October 10th, 2021. Uh, Usyk is the best heavyweight in the world. Guys, I, I, I don't understand why that's like an unpopular statement. Usyk's the best heavyweight in the world. Him outclassing unified champion Anthony Joshua is far, far more impressive than Wilder and Fury having 11 rounds of hell and Fury coming out on top. What Usyk did is far, far, far more impressive. Usyk outclassed Joshua. Um, you know, if I would have asked many of y'all last week who would win, Joshua or Wilder, most of y'all would have picked Joshua. Usyk outclassed him. Fury fought life and death and, 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 and survived Wilder. See the difference? Usyk outclassed the man. Lost maybe two rounds. Wilder dropped Fury multiple times, had him hurt throughout the fight, right? It's not the same. Look, and, and this is my point. So now, I'm hearing now Usyk is too small for um, for Fury. Okay. <sighs> guys, I mean, you guys are clinging to something here. All right, look. Steve Cunningham dropped Fury. Almost stopped him. Small guy. Small heavyweight. Wilder fought um, Fury three times. The only time he went the distance and the only time he didn't lose to Fury was when he was 218 pounds. A small heavyweight. 220 is not too small. Yes, 220 in today's era is a small, a smaller heavyweight. It's on, you know, on that scale, it's, it's a smaller heavyweight, but it, it is not too small. You... Heavyweights have been 6'3", 220 for 50 years. Now it's too small. It's not too small. Usyk just proved that by destroying Anthony Joshua, who's 6'6", 250. He came in 240 that fight, right? It's not too small. Like, you guys got to get another argument. He's not too small. He just beat Joshua at 220 pounds, right? Um if Wilder at 218 pounds can fight uh, Fury to a draw, but then lose to him when he's 230, 238. Um, if, if Cunningham, who is not even in the same class as these other guys as a heavyweight, um, can can drop him, almost finish him, uh, you know, as a cruiserweight. I'm, I'm looking. Give me, give me one second. I, I want to look at what Cunningham weighed uh, in that Fury fight because he. Almost stopped him. He dropped him again. Had him down for a nine and a half count. Uh, now Cunningham is fighting uh, oh, a couple weeks in Poland. Hmm, cool. Um, all right, let me find this. He weighed two ten. He weighed two ten when he fought Fury. Fury went outweighed by forty four pounds. Uh, and Cunningham dropped him, 
and almost finished him. So if these guys aren't too small, why would Usyk, who's way classier, way better uh, than those guys, and physically stronger, now be too small? You guys are trying to cling to something here. I, I, look, that Fury fight, that Fury Wilder 3 fight, was the best heavyweight fight I'd seen since at least Holyfield Bowl 1. Was it better than Holyfield Bowl 1? It may have been. Uh, so is it the best heavyweight fight I've seen since Ali Frazier 3? Maybe. Right? Like, it could be. It's one of the great heavyweight fights ever. That doesn't mean Fury or Wilder beat Usyk. Because they don't. Look, Fury's not what you think he is anymore. At 260 pounds, he was a unicorn. 6'9", 260, move like that, move like a middleweight, right? Most agile heavyweight since Ali at 6'9", at 260. He's not that guy anyway. He, move, he still moves well for for a heavyweight, right? He moves well. Put a caveat there for a heavyweight, but he's not what he was. He doesn't move the way he did. He's slower, more stationary, and he's looking to break you down and wear you out by leaning on you and being a monster in there. He's not going to be able to stop Usyk from getting in. Working and getting out. Getting in, working, and getting out. He's not going to be able to stop Usyk from doing that. Look, Fury, Wilder, Joshua are really good heavyweights. They're really good heavyweights. Usyk is a great fighter. There's a big difference. Usyk would be good in any weight class, in any era. He's a great fighter. The other guys that I just named, the other big three heavyweights, are good heavyweights. They're not great heavyweights. Fury's beaten one top guy, and I'm a Fury fan. I, this is what's so frustrating about it. I, I like Fury. He's beaten one good heavyweight in the last six years. One. Now he's one of the best we've ever seen. Guys, to be honest, Usyk has beaten more premier heavyweights, more top 10 heavyweights um, in, in, in the last 12 months than Fury has in six years. Usyk is better than Fury. Like, I don't know why this is hard to comprehend, right? If Usyk fights Fury next, Usyk beats him. Usyk just dominated Anthony Joshua. Dominated him. Won, I think, nine rounds. Easy. Maybe more. U Usyk is in a class by himself as a heavyweight. Now, that doesn't mean he can't lose. He can't knock people out. So, eventually, he could get caught. But if you think who's better, Usyk? Or Fury, it's Usyk. Look what he just did to Joshua. Some of y'all would have picked Joshua to beat Fury. And look what Usyk did to him. But now Usyk's too small. He's not too small for Joshua, but he's too small for uh, Fury. I mean, none of this makes any sense to me. You guys got to get something else. You are wrong about Usyk. I was right about Usyk. Y'all are wrong about it. I said when Usyk was still a cruiserweight, if he goes up to heavyweight, he'll dominate the heavyweight division. You guys can go to Mixed Combat Radio. You can go to Boxing Voice. I've argued out with Ness, right? Look, those guys, Usyk's a great fighter. You put a great fighter like Roy over my shoulder, you put great fighters in the heavyweight division, they're going to do fine. If they're 220, they'll dominate that division. Roy wasn't 220. He won 6'3", 20. He was 5'11", 190. He couldn't cut it as a heavyweight. Give him four more inches and 25 extra pounds. Yeah, he would have been fine. And that's what Usyk is, 6'3", 220. I mean, Usyk is a special fighter, okay? He's, I think, the greatest cruiserweight of all time. And now he's making his run as a heavyweight. Now, look, he's already 35. I don't know how long this run is going to be. But if he goes and beats Fury, he's the best heavyweight of this era. So he's the best cruiserweight ever and the best heavyweight of his era. Hey, guys, this isn't that difficult. I, I don't understand. Because y'all were wrong about him, now you're going to say he's too small to fight him. After he beats Fury, he, he's going to be too small for uh, he's going to be too small for Jared Anderson. He's going to be too small for uh, Frank Sanchez. It's like, he's not too small. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. Y'all were wrong. Uh, Usyk's not too small, and he's way better than everyone else in the weight class. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think about Usyk. Usyk beats Fury. Usyk beats Joshua. Usyk beats Wilder. Usyk beats whoever you want him to beat at the heavyweight division. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all of them on social media. 3D Boxing. Quick hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. 
Uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Again, Usyk is the best heavyweight in the world. It is uh, October 10th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.